salt analysis i will teach you my personal and easy trick to learn salt analysis after watching this lecture completely you will learn 13 keys of this trick and you will be able to spot cations and anions within second so watch this lecture till the end and you will learn something awesome now what is salt analysis well consider a base sodium hydroxide when we add water to it sodium and hydroxide ionize into respective ions now this cation of sodium is known as basic radical it is because this sodium ion belongs to base sodium hydroxide so we call it basic radical secondly consider an acid like hcl now i add some water to it the acid will ionize into hydrogen ion and chlorine ion this negative chlorine ion is known as acidic radical it is because this chlorine ion belongs to acid hcl so we call it acidic radical thirdly consider a table salt like sodium chloride we know that this salt is formed from sodium ion and chlorine ion are we have already learned that sodium ion is known as basic radical and chlorine ion is known as acidic radical thus we learn that every salt contains two parts basic radical and acidic radical are positive cation and negative cation now let i give you an unknown salt and i ask you to identify its cation and anion what will you do well you will simply identify its basic radical which is a cation and you will identify its acidic radical which is anion the we define salt analysis as the process of identification of the cation and anions of an inorganic salt is called as salt analysis let me repeat it the process of identification of the cations and anions of an inorganic salt is called as salt analysis hence note it down all these important points now let me teach you my personal trick of salt analysis consider this lock there there are five keys available to open this lock i will select first key to open the lock if it doesn't open the lock i will select the second key to open the lock if the second key doesn't open the lock i will use the third key the fourth key and the fifth key there is 100% possibility that one out of these five keys will unlock the lock similarly consider an unknown salt here let me ask you to open the anion part of the unknown salt just like the five keys of a lock i will use five keys to open or unlock the anion part of any salt hence let me teach you five keys to identify anion part of any salt consider an unknown salt we have already learned that we will use five keys to unlock its unknown part or anionic part firstly i take some water in four different beakers secondly i add the unknown salt to the first beaker to the second beaker to the third beaker and to the fourth beaker lastly i will only keep unknown salt here now i will use sulfuric acid h2so4 in the second third and in the fourth key remember that in the second and in the third case we use concentrated sulfuric acid while in the fourth case we use dilute sulfuric acid in the first key i add barium chloride to unknown salt if we get white precipitate then we will add dilute hydrochloric acid to white precipitate we will get two possible options ppt dissolve or ppt do not dissolve if ppt dissolve it is sulfite ion if ppt do not dissolve it is sulfate ion thus using first key we can identify sulfite ion and sulfate ion i mean we unlock the salt and identify its anionic part so we will not use the remaining four keys but wait a minute 
what if we do not get white precipitate it means that the first key cannot open the lock so we will use the second key and the second key we add iron sulfide and concentrated sulfuric acid we will get two possible answer black precipitate or brown ring the black precipitate represent nitrite ion and the brown ring represents nitrate ion the using second key we can identify nitrite ion and nitrate ion but wait a minute what if we do not get black precipitate or brown ring then we will use the third key and the third key we add silver nitrate and concentrated sulfuric acid we get three possible answers white color pale yellow color or yellow color i write halogen in ascending order chlorine bromine iodine the white color indicates chlorine ion the pale yellow color indicates bromine ion and the yellow color indicates iodine ion thus using the third key we can unlock chlorine bromine and iodine ions of any salt if we do not get white pale yellow or yellow color then we will use the fourth key and the fourth key we add lead acetate paper and dilute sulfuric acid we get two possible answer black precipitate or brisk effervescence the black precipitate indicates sulfide ion and the brisk effervescence indicates carbonate ion if we do not get black precipitate and brisk effervescence then we will use the fifth key the fifth key is the most simplest key we only rub the unknown salt if it smells like a vinegar it contains acetate ion therefore using first key we unlock sulfide ion or sulfate ion using second key we unlock nitrite ion or nitrate ion using third key we can unlock chlorine bromine or iodine ions using fourth key we can unlock sulfide or carbonate ions and using fifth key we can unlock acetate ion thus note down all these five keys to unlock any ion of unknown salt now let me teach you eight keys to unlock ions of any unknown salt firstly let me teach you about original solution the transparent and aqueous solution of a salt is known as original solution its preparation is simple we take small amount of salt and we add it to cold water or to hot water or we add a few drop of acid to it in order to dissolve the salt in the water hence note down this basic concept of original solution now we will use add keys in order to unlock ketan of any unknown salt consider this unknown salt i will make its original solution in small quantity and i will add it to eight different beakers in the first four keys i use solution of ammonium hydroxide now in the first key we add ammonium hydroxide we get two possible answers blue color or white color the blue color indicates the presence of copper ion the white color indicates the presence of arsenic ion if i do not get either blue color or white color then i will use the second key now in the second key i add ammonium hydroxide plus potassium iron cyanide we get two possible answers bluish white or blue color the bluish white indicates the presence of zinc ion and the blue color indicates the presence of iron ion if the first and the second key do not work i will use the third key and the third key i add ammonium hydroxide plus dmg remember that dmg stands for dimethyl glyoxime we get one possible answer red precipitate this red precipitate indicates the presence of nickel ion in case if we do not get red precipitate i will try to use the fourth key in the fourth key i add sodium hydroxide plus few drops of blue litmus solution 
I get one possible answer as blue layer. This blue layer indicates the presence of aluminium ion. In the fifth key, we add potassium dichromate. We get either yellow precipitate or yellow precipitate. It may be either lead ion or barium ion. Secondly, we add potassium iodide. We get either yellow precipitate or no yellow precipitate. The yellow precipitate indicates the presence of lead ion and the no yellow precipitate indicates the presence of barium ion. In the sixth key, I add ammonium sulfate. As a result, I get white precipitate. The white precipitate indicates the presence of strontium ion. In the seventh key, I add ammonium oxalate. I get white precipitate, which shows the presence of calcium ion. Lastly, in the eighth key, I add Nessler's reagent. I get brown precipitate. It shows the presence of ammonium ion. Hence, using these eight keys, we can easily indicate the presence of any cation in an unknown salt. Therefore, using these overall 13 keys, we can easily crack any question of salt analysis. I hope that you have learned all about salt analysis.